Hello everyone, I'm Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are nice, narcissists do this. That's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Before I begin, please hit the thumbs up button down below to show your support. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. If you're nice to a narcissist, they will take it as a weakness. Even if you're not overdoing it, you're not doing it excessively. And you may normally be quite outspoken, but you're taking the initiative and making the effort to be kind and respectful. And yet they will still see that as a weakness and they will take advantage of it because they're very insecure and they can sense that you are happier than they are. So they will try to bring you down to their level because they don't want you to be happy. They don't want you to feel good. Just the thought of that makes them uncom uncomfortable. So they will plot and scheme to bring you down to their level. Because when you're nice to them, it reveals your mood. It tells them that you're happy. So you may see them becoming irritable and bad tempered. And they will act really weird. To where they may just completely ignore you when you're talking to them. Because they want you to overthink. They want you to doubt yourself. They want to make you think that something is wrong with you so that they can take away your happiness because they're envious of it. Their happiness is not like yours. So they want to bring you down to their level. They want to give you negative and uncomfortable feelings to where you're confused and you don't know where you stand with them. And yet, they're supposed to be the closest person to you. But they won't try to make it right. Because all they're concerned about is your reaction. They want to see if what they're doing is affecting you. So you can be good to the narcissist. You can be nice to them. You can value them. And they will still treat you this way. Because you're doing good and you're happy and they're insecure about it. So they're trying to maintain control over your emotions. And this is why people say it's lonely at the top. Because powerful and successful people often have very few friends. People come to them not because they like or care for them, but only because they envy them and they're plotting their downfall to elevate themselves. And successful people may only want to associate with other people at the same level, which may be rare. And this is often the experience we have with narcissists. Because you may be happy and successful, but they're not. Which is why even if you're kind or respectful, you're just going to veer off course. And your life is going to change for the worse rather than the better. You're going to end up developing anxiety and depression. Which is why the narcissist may not even want to be around you. Because they don't want to feel inferior. They don't want to be around someone who they think is better. Because they're always comparing themselves to you. They're looking at what you've got. And they're constantly being offended. Because they're very shallow. They're lacking depth. So they're not showing careful thought or real understanding. And once they start envying you and seeing you in this way, it's never the same after that. Because they can't even stand to see you in a good mood. So they've got to go against your natural flow. They've got to take you off your path and make you believe in things that aren't even true so that they can control you because they're very insecure. They want to imprison you because they've imprisoned themselves. 
so they don't want you to have a good time because then you're going to be in a lively and cheerful mood but they're not going to be able to share that experience with you so they're going to see it as though you're happier than them and then they're going to feel compelled to do something to you to ruin your mood and they might do that by ignoring you or by ending the relationship with you or they may just go on a campaign to ruin your life because your energy, confidence, charm and charisma is irritating them because they don't have that when the irony is that they actually might have it if they spent more time around you but they're so annoyed and resentful they take it as an insult or an attack because they can't be on your level so they just fall off they ghost you they disappear they give up easily because they don't have the courage or determination to continue they accept their fates and they continue to be miserable but misery loves company so when they see that you're doing well and you're having a good time they have to bring you down they've got to ruin your life they've got to do something because they're miserable 24 7 so they will treat you unfairly because they already see it as though you have the upper hand which is why they won't even feel bad about going behind your back and mistreating or deceiving you because if you were face to face with them they would immediately fall apart they would become weaker in strength and influence which is why they don't even want to talk because they're negative so they don't want anything real which is crazy because if they would just listen to you they would get better but they can't because they have this inflated sense of pride and ego so they just fall off or they want to be against you because they're incapable of sharing the same mindset they lack the energy and the passion they lack the eagerness to succeed because we're just different and if that was not true then where are they now they're not with you because that side of them doesn't even exist it doesn't interest them they're more resonant with destruction and misery which is why whenever you're around they're always offended so you've got a grey rock observe don't absorb don't even show them your emotions because they're just going to make them miserable and then they're going to hate you because they just don't have that type of energy they're like the walking dead all they care about is their addictions they drink alcohol they do drugs because they lack passion and purpose so they give up easily and then they're angry and anxious in a tense but controlled way until they begin to see you as their enemy because they've made their own choice while you've chosen to act in accord with divine and moral law they've chosen to be weak which is why if you're nice to them they will get angry because they're actually very suspicious of people's kindness so they may think you're trying to manipulate them or that you're trying to mock them because it's out of the realm of their experience and perception and they lack empathy so they can't understand an emotional space that they don't experience for themselves but what they do understand is manipulation so they're just going to see it as though you're trying to take advantage of them which is why you will only receive a negative response to them it's just weakness or manipulation because when they're nice they're just doing it to manipulate you but whether you're nice or you're not nice it doesn't really matter they're never going to see who you actually are because when you're being nice they will treat you with contempt it causes their shame to resurface because they can't participate in that and you may feel like you're being gaslit but the truth is that they actually believe their own lies they really believe that you're just manipulating them they don't think that your niceness could ever be genuine which is why they will only view you with suspicion and they may try to get you before you get them because whether you're nice or not there is no winning with narcissists thank you for watching 
If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.